This is in transport height, very important to the Marine Corps as we get into our amphibious shipping to be able to get on well decks. Very important to the Army as well to be able to get on a C-130s and do low velocity airdrop, etc. Um, it's normally in, in uh, operational mode, which is shown here, and that's how on a day-to-day -day basis soldiers and Marines will operate the vehicle. Now it does have a capability uh, where we can go to fording height, which is essentially 60 inches, the vehicle can raise. Um, and that's very important for the Marine Corps. That's a Marine Corps centric or specific requirement so that we could uh, clear water obstacles, part of our amphibious nature. Okay, so getting to some of the, the technical uh, capabilities of the vehicle. Um, the suspension has uh, 20 inches of travel and that was actually used in a Baja 1000 race. Um, it uses a Duramax, uh, V8 engine, much like you would find in a, a, a Silverado or a Sierra pickup truck uh, that's actually been modified by Gail Banks for any of you NASCAR fans. Uh, and then we use an Allison uh, modified transmission as well. So to the max extent possible, we used a lot of commercial technologies with the powertrain, etc. The, the JLTV is designed for survivability to meet a number of threats. Uh, and it met all of the, both the Army and the Marine Corps uh, requirements as far as that's concerned. Um, getting back to some of the technical, you know, aspects of the vehicle, it does have a range of 300 miles, has a top speed of 75 miles per hour. Um, so we talked about the capability, the, the payload of the vehicle. It can, uh, it has a payload of 5,100 pounds and that's the utility vehicle. Um, so think about your high-back Humvee. This would be kind of the, the JLT variant of that. Um, the uh, general purpose vehicle, it has a payload of 3,500 pounds. Okay. So my name is Lieutenant Colonel John Gutierrez, uh, G-U-T-I-E-R-R-E-Z. I'm the product manager for vehicle systems at the Joint Program Office.